This portion here we will talk about how to select items inside your file. We kind of showed you the element selection tool. But there's also another way of selecting items that are out there. Using the element selection tool we define you know which one that we want to select or if we want to create a block around it or shape and so forth. Well there's actually another method also. And this is underneath the um, edit pull down. So if you go to edit we have three options right here that says select all, select none, which is actually these two right here, which is select all, select none, which is a clear out of selection set. But also we have this one right here underneath the edit pull down that's called select by attributes. And this is the one that we're going to talk about right now. Select by attributes. Here's where we can define what items that we want to select inside the file by the attributes of what they are. Any piece of geometry inside of a microstation file has attributes assigned to them. There's always a level assigned to it, there's always a color, line style, and weight regardless of what item it is. So here we can go in here and define what we want to select inside this file. And For this example here we're going to go through here and scan this file and grab everything or grab all these trees inside this file. First of all we need to figure out what these items are on, what level they're on, and what color they are. And An easy way to do that is if you have your element selection tool up and you have your mode set to new and you hover over top of an item it'll show you what it is which for this one right here it's an arc and what level it's on. Roadway entrances. Same thing for this pipe here says that the line shows what level it's on. And let's go to these trees. Here it tells you what cell it is, which is LTR, it's a shape. It also tells you that it's under environmental new trees for that particular level that the, that item is on. So if I come over here, we can define what we want to grab or what, what we want to select inside this file. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one that says environmental new trees. If I were to hit execute right now, what it will do is actually scan this file and grab everything that is on this level. If that's what I want to do, I could do that. Or if I want to narrow it down even more, let's say I knew some items were on, I have multiple items that are on this level, but I just want to grab the items are that are on a certain color and this level you could do that you can define it down even more you could toggle it down to where you can scan the file to just grab this level stuff that's on this color this style and this weight depends on how you want to scan that file to select those certain items for this example I'm not going to worry about that also to the side here you have your types Right now they're all selected so it's going to scan the file and look at all types to grab those items. You could change that if you wanted to. Let's say I wanted to go through here and scan a certain file and I want to grab stuff that's just on this level and a cell. You could do that. Or just a dimension. You could do that. Or just scan the file for this level and this line. You can do that. I'm not going to worry about that for this example, but that is another option that you can do if you're wanting to grab just certain items inside a file. Control A. If I'm inside this box here and I do a Control A, it will go through there and select all those items again. So right now, if I hit the Execute, I'm not going to worry about the modes. You have Inclusive and Exclusive, um, Selection, Locate, and Display. I want to select those items, so I'm going to leave it set to select. You, if you just want to locate them, you could do a locate or just a display. You could do that also. I want to select them for this example, so I'll leave that on. And then you have your mode off and on. So if I hit execute right now, it scans a file. You'll notice that it grabs everything that was on that level. And it scans those types and grabbed everything that it knew it can grab. So that's a way you can go through there and use your select by attributes 
to select items inside of a file just by the attributes of what they are on. Another thing that you can do is you can look at your cell here. If you just had a cell name, you could do select by cell. You could type in the name if you want to do that. Or if you wanted to do a text, you could scan the file and grab everything that's on this level underneath a certain font, height, width, justification, or a line string. If you had certain wording that were out there and you want to grab that string of text, you could do that also. So you could really, really narrow it down if you really want to utilize that. Now, once you're finished using the select by attributes, if you hit the X, you will get this alert that says, um, warning, okay, we'll allow by select, such and such and such. Um, you don't have to really worry about that. Just go ahead and click on OK to that. But now you'll notice that inside here you have all, all those items that were selected whenever you did the select by attributes. So now if I go over here and use one of my operations like my delete tool or my move or my copy or so forth, it's going to do it to all those items. If you want to clear out that selection set, you can either click on your clear button right here or if you have your mode set to new you can just left click out on a blank screen somewhere and it will end that operation another thing about the select by attributes there is a option underneath your element selection tool that you can kinda of do that also which is this little pull down right here show extended settings and inside here you can look and scan the file by what they are also you can kinda of see this as I kinda of toggle through them so if I come over here and I'll scan down and I'll find environmental new trees and I select it it will kinda of do that same operation also or if I want to grab roadway entrances roadway entrances you can do that operation also so to grab everything that's on that level and of course you can do the clear to clear it out so that's another way that you can do the select by attributes underneath the LMS selection tool it's whatever one that you want to utilize